What is going on everyone? I go by RB and this is Philly Take with RB. Now if you've been enjoying the content of the channel, go ahead and smash that like button for me. And if you're new and you want to stay updated on some great Philly content, we'll go ahead and hit that subscribe. So today I want to discuss an interesting story that I was reading pertaining to the Sixers, pertaining to Sixers standout rookie and viral TikTok star. Yes, viral TikTok star right now, Matisse Thibel. So I was reading this story, as you can see right here on NBC Sports Philadelphia. It was, it was pretty interesting. It's, it talks about Matisse Thybul and Zach Levine, a standout player from the Chicago Bulls, who you know a lot of people are talking about, could be on the move, by the way. It's about Matisse Thybul and Zach Levine, and, and an interesting, weird, kind of crazy coincidence that these two had from high school and then in the NBA this year. So, as you can see... Basically, Matisse Thibel was, was in high school as a freshman, I believe. And Zach Levine was also in high school as, you know, a standout basketball player. So Matisse Thibel was on the freshman team. He, he was pretty much, you know, a freshman in JV. And, you know, he had always shown that, that defensive trait, that defensive potential. And apparently Zach Levine's school was coming in to play his school. And the JV coach was like, yo, you need to bring this guy up, Thibel, and, and see if he can stick Zach Levine because they knew he was going to go off, right? So anyway, the, the game starts and Zach Levine said the first possession down the court, he uh, he took a shot and, and Matisse blocked it. And he said it was like the first time anyone has really blocked his shot in high school because he, he has a quick release and a nice jumper and, and it's hard to block. So that was pretty cool. And anyway... The game ended, Matisse Thibel did a pretty good job guarding Zach Levine, and he had two steals and two blocks on Zach Levine. Now, fast forward five years later, Zach Levine is balling out on the Chicago Bulls. Matisse Thibel is a 22-year-old rookie after spending four years in college, and, and he's continued to show that defensive you know, power. He's, he's a great defender, and he's young, and he's way ahead of his years. So... Matisse Thibel shows down again against Zach Levine earlier in January. It was a couple weeks before the season. Actually, I think it was a couple months before the season went down. And Zach Levine was talking to Serena Winters about it before the game. And he talked about the story. And Matisse had a lot of possessions where he guarded Zach Levine. And the crazy coincidence of it is that Matisse Thibel ended that game back in January. The Sixers won. They held the Bulls to 89 points. It was a great game. I remember it. Matisse Thibel ended up having two steals and two blocks again on Zach Levine. And that is a crazy coincidence given the two paths of these guys. You know, Levine, the standout guy, he, he goes, plays college for a year and then goes and gets drafted. And then Matisse Thibel, the four-year senior who, you know, never was as developed in college. He shot about, you know, 35% from three. In college, he was a great defender, one conf all-conference defender or whatever. And, you know, it takes him a lot longer, gets to the NBA, and then he plays Zach Levine again and has the same statistics. It's a crazy story. I thought it was pretty cool as I was reading it, and I wanted to show it to you guys. A and now I want to talk just a little bit more about Matisse Thibault and where I project him to go and what I see for his career with the Sixers. So, as we know, in a rookie year here, you know, Sixers only have played 65 games because of this quarantine. Matisse has played in 57 of those games. On draft night, he was, you know, he was getting booed. People were pissed off because the Sixers always value these defensive-minded dudes. And, you know, when we lose J.J. Redick, when we lose Jimmy Butler, we need some shooting. And Matisse Thibel was far from a proven shooter in college at Washington. So we trade up, everyone thinks we're going to get uh, Carson Edwards, and we go and select Matisse Thibel, who's a great defender, we know that, but like I said, we were looking for more shooting. But the crazy thing is that Matisse comes on, he is firing from three, he looks, he looks like one of the biggest steals in the draft, you know, he's hitting shots, he's shooting close to 40% up in the top percentage uh, shooting wise in terms of rookies, he's playing great. Now, he sustains an injury. He's only He was only out for eight games. But that injury, it was a right knee sprain, I believe, and, and something else. 
I really feel like that injury is what set him back a little bit. He struggled later on in the season. You know, people are calling it a rookie wall. People are, are saying that it was just a fluke at the beginning of the season. Maybe. Those could have contributed. But in my personal opinion, I think that, sh that injury really messed him up. Because when he came back, as I started to observe him closer, you could really see, you know, his jump shot was just long and slow. And it did not look... Like everything was in sync. Maybe now that he has some time on his hands, you know, besides making TikToks, hopefully he's getting that shot back into what it was earlier in the season. Because when you combine that with his defensive presence, this kid is so far ahead of his years. He plays like a veteran defender. He has IQ. He has a good mentality. He doesn't let things really get to him. You know, whether he picks off a pass and, and runs the fast break and makes an extra pass, you know, that others wouldn't make. Uh, he's even shown that he can dunk the ball in, in different situations. Like Matisse Thibel, he's going to have to learn to put it on the floor a little bit. But if he can return to that shooting form that he had earlier on in the season and combined with what I've seen, you know, he's leading all rookies in steals. He's he's averaging under 20 minutes a game and he's, you know, accounting for about one and a half steals a game. When you look at the total steals among rookies, this guy is in first by like, almost 20 like no one is even close to him like I said he's also been asked you know to, to be put on tough challenges you know for a rookie like he's guarded LeBron a couple times he's he we've had games where he's guarded Dame Lillard he's guarded Kyrie all these guys you know he has taken the challenge and I'm not saying it's been perfect it's not flawless but let me tell you he has strapped some of these guys up just putting it blatant out there for you he has strapped some of these guys up and you know, when the Sixers have a young guy who looks like he's going to be a stud, you know, the year before, Landry Shamit, who I thought was developing into a great young player. And we had to go out and give him away so that we could get Tobias Harris. I understand. When we go and get Matisse Thibel, it makes me feel a lot better. You know, knowing what Shamit was going to develop into, I, I see a lot of potential for Matisse Thibel. I think the defense is only going to get better. He's only going to learn to understand the system and understand the game better. I mean... If, in my opinion, this guy looks to me like he's going to be a sixth man, a seventh man for years to come down the road. I hope the Sixers are able to retain him. And if he gets that shot, oh my gosh, this guy is going to be special. I love everything about him. He does not back down from anything. If we know that we have a solidified piece like Matisse Thibel there, it makes me feel really good. You know, this guy would come in this year and instantly he would make some kind of play. Some kind of play to get the crowd going crazy, to shift the momentum. If we needed some stops, he would come in. And, you know, we had Brett Brown who sometimes wouldn't play him enough. Sometimes near the end here, you know, even though his shooting was bad, I thought down the stretch we needed some of his defensive stops. He can't be playing 10, 12 minutes a game. No, you have to give this guy more. I think going forward he needs to play if the season comes back and looking for the future years ahead, he needs to play at least 25 minutes a game, in my opinion. He needs to, to have consistent minutes and have consistent time because when I saw him with that time earlier in the year, he was, he was impeccable, man. The future is so bright here in Philadelphia, especially for this kid. Pair him with some of these other guys we have, Ben Simmons, Joel Embiid, the list goes on. It's going to be absurd. But I just thought... This would be a cool story to bring to you guys. I think it's crazy that, that how the how it worked out like that. And I just wanted to talk about Matisse Thibel a little bit. But you guys can let me know your thoughts down below. What do you see for the future of Matisse Thibel? How good do you think this kid's ceiling is? Let me know all your guys' thoughts down below. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you on the next one. Peace. Perfect. Perfect. Perfect.